Good evening, Hector. How are you today? Good evening, Hector. How are you today? Good evening, Cindy. How are you today? Good evening, Cindy. How are you today? Good evening. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, how was your day today, Cindy? I had a good day. A good day, very good. And that's yes. Friday. Yes, <laughs> today is Friday. Yeah, okay, good evening, Hector Eduardo. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I am fine, thanks for asking. And how was your day today? I had a hard day. A hard day. Okay, thanks God it's Friday, Eduardo. Hector Eduardo, thanks God it's Friday. You have to work tomorrow. In Spanish, I can speak. Do you have Do you have to work? Tomorrow. Yes, yes, ah, I okay. have. Lo que viene y sábado son los días más pesados, o sea que ahí donde nosotros es al revés. Viernes, <laughs> sábado y domingo, bueno, domingo no lo hago yo, pero son días pesados para nosotros. Pero esta semana ha sido más pesada porque como que ha aumentado el volumen de carga. Está ah. trayendo muchas cosas. Ah, ok. I'm sorry to hear that, Héctor. Eh, me he metido a andar encima viendo los contenedores como están. Si están buenos, malos. Ok. No relax en esta clase, Héctor Eduardo. Ok. Forget about work. Ok. Good evening, Ginny. How are you today? Good evening. Very fine. How was your day today? My day was stressful. Stressful. Oh my God. What happened? <laughs> Uh, a lot of work. A lot of work. Oh. But thanks God, today is Friday, okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, I wonder with your other classmates, what happened? It's already 8.02. Me pregunta algo, teacher. No, no, no. Ah, okay. No, estaba. I was saying that uh, it's already 8.02, and I was ah, okay. wondering where are the other students? Mm. Okay. 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 Uh, as usual, okay, this is video conference number 19. Okay, how to use CAN for informal requests. So regardless to this agenda, we are going to introduce the topic, ask and answer introduction questions, so study the grammar chart about how to use CAN to make a polite informal request and to make informal requests. Okay, but to begin, to begin, I want you to, to go. Ah, okay, good evening, uh, Eunice, how are you? Good evening, fine, thank you, and you? I am fine, thanks for asking. How was your day at work today? Yeah, I'm tired, I'm very, very occupado. <laughs> busy, busy. Easy. Very, very easy. Okay, but it's time to relax, and thanks God it's Friday. Okay, yes. very good. Hello, Ricardo. Good evening. How was your day today? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Uh, fine. I'm fine. Okay. Uh, how was your day? Uh, I'm very so so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So don't don't worry. Just relax. Okay. Let me share. Okay. Um, Today, we are going to see this. 
Okay, now I want you to go to page, page, page 44. Page 44, okay? Reading, read about printer qualities and answer the questions below. Okay, but talking about printers, okay? So let's look in the internet for printers. The best printers. Okay, and then we can see that we have some very good printers, colored printers, and black and white printers, okay? So you can see all those types of printers. Can you see them? Yes. No. Okay, so we have all these type of printers, okay? All these types of printers. So, some of them very expensive. Okay, so why are we looking at printers? Because it says read about printer qualities and answer the questions below. But before I want to say hello to the ones that just got in. Okay, good evening, Francisca, how are you? Good evening. How Very was your day today? How was yeah. your day at work today? Very busy. Very busy, okay, no problem. So you are going to relax in this class. Good evening, Catherine, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, how was your day today, Catherine? I had a good day and very busy. And very busy, okay, very good. Good evening, Vicente, how are you today? Good evening, teacher. Very busy. Very busy, okay. Yes. Now, remember, we are going to relax in this class, okay? Good evening, Paulo, how are you today? <laughs> Good evening, teacher. How was your day at work today, Paulo? Uh, fine. A good day. A good day. Okay, very good. So today we are going to look at a... We are going to read about printer qualities. Okay? So let me read for you. Color. Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one color and one in black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who, and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Questions about vocabulary here or pronunciation. Cheaper. Cheaper. Más barato, cheaper. Only cheap, barato. But cheaper, más barato. No questions. After cer 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 certain? After certain, después de cierto número de páginas, you have to replace the cartridge. The cartridge, el cartucho, after, you have to replace it after a certain number of pages, okay? 
So you have to replace the cartridge. More questions? More questions? No more questions. Everything is clear. Cartridges. Which one? Cartridges. 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 Cartuchos. El cartucho del toner o de la tinta. Cartridges. Cartuchos. More questions? No more questions. Okay, repeat after me. Color. 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 Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps in other pages where color is part of the information. Color is, color is important for users color is part of the information. Color is part of the information. Okay, color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges. Uh -huh. One color and one black ink. One color and one black ink. Okay, that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. That need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Pages, pages. Singular, one page. Plural, pages. Pages. Okay. okay, users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Okay, now let me see. Uh, welcome, Carla. Only Carla. Hi. Hi. Okay. How was your day today, Carla? Um, ¿cómo se dice? Busy. Uh, I was busy. It was busy. It was a busy day. Okay, very good. Okay, let's continue, guys. Okay, 317. Okay, now let's move on uh, here. Okay, we are on the second paragraph. Resolution. Printer resolution. The sharpness of the text and images on paper. Go ahead. Resolution. Resolution. Ah. resolution. resolution. The, the sharpness of, of the image on paper. On paper. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to read it first and then you will read it after me. Okay. Print the resolution, the sharpness of text and images on paper is usually measured in dots per inch. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 DPI. Okay, questions. Yeah, measure. What? Sharpness. Measure. Measure, measure, medido is usually measured. The resolution, the resolution is usually in dots per inch. En puntos, puntos por pulgada. Dots per inch. 
sharpness, el brillo. The sharpness of text and images on paper is usually measured in that per inch. More questions? Most purpose, more, most purposes. Most inexpensive printers. Inexpensive is the opposite of expensive. Expensive es caro, and inexpensive is the opposite. Barato. Mm -hmm. O, o que no son caros. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes. That is at 600 DPI. Okay. Purposes, what mean? Purposes, propósitos. Okay, thank for you. For most purposes, para la mayoría de propósitos. Okay, in color, remember, in color or in black and white. Remember? Okay, more questions? No more. No. no more. Okay, now repeat after me. Printer resolution is usually measured in dots per inch. Printer, Printer resolution, resolution is usually measured in dots per inch. Okay, so that is the sharpness of text and images on paper. The okay, again, one image, one image, two or more images. So the plural is images. 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 Okay. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 DPI. Is most inexpensive Okay, now, purposes. One purpose, purposes. one purpose, purposes. two or more purposes. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, yes. now. Very good. Let's go with the speed. If you do not, if you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Questions? Sheets. Become sheets, sheets, or has. has in this case paper, right? Sheets also, sheets can be bed sheets, la sabanas, sheets, bed sheets. More questions. It become, becomes, becomes, becomes is convertirse. So, if you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Si usted hace mucha impresión, la velocidad del impresor debe tornarse importante o se convierte en importante. Because you do a lot of printing. More questions. No more questions? No more teacher. Okay. So inexpensive printers print only three to six sheets per minute. And color printer is a slower. Color printing, impresión a color is más lenta. Okay, más despacio. More, exp more expensive printers are much faster. Y impresores más caros son mucho más rápido. rápido. Okay, very good. Now, memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images or tables with lines around them which the printer treats as a large image. 
question. Around them. Uh, which one? Um, small amount. A small amount, a small amount, pequeña cantidad. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. Okay? La mayoría de impresores viene con una cantidad pequeña de memoria. For example, one megabyte. But that can be expanded by the user. More questions? No questions? No questions. I'm sorry, we need around, to hear around them. Around. Ah, around them. Okay. So, if you look, having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful. Es de mucha ayuda. Okay, having more than the minimum because it's helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images, okay? El tener la cantidad, eh, tener más de la cantidad mínima de memoria es de ayuda. Y mucho más rápido cuando se imprimen páginas con imágenes grandes o tablas o cuadros con líneas around them. Con líneas alrededor de ellas. De los cuadros, ¿va? Which printer treats as a large image. Los cuales, las líneas, ¿verdad? El impresor las trata como una imagen grande. Questions? No, no, more, no more questions. No okay, more. let's see, Paulo, Carla, Jacqueline. How are you, Jacqueline? Hello, Jacqueline. Hello, good evening. Uh -huh, good evening. <laughs> what happened? Ay, me acabo de bañar y me agarró la tarde, teacher. Uh -huh, okay. How was your day? So-so. <laughs> So-so. Okay, good evening, Karen. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. I am um, good day. Good day. Uh, ha happy for is Friday. Yeah, <laughs> thanks God. Thanks God is Friday, right? Okay. Now, right. <laughs> now we have one, two, three, seven, eleven, twelve. So I'm gonna make you okay. You're gonna work in pairs. Okay. You're going to work in pairs and you okay. are going to answer this question. Why color is important for some users? Now, in here, okay, it says color. So it's important for presentations or maps in other pages where color is part of the information. Okay, that is the answer. Why color, why is color important for some users? Okay, so that will be the answer. So I want you that you go and answer these questions with information from the article. Okay, I will give you 10 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna break you into pairs. Okay. Six pairs. Okay, go ahead. Francisca and Delmira, go to room number one, please. Francisca, Delmira, and Jacqueline. Eunice and Paulo, room number two. Hector and Ricardo, room number three. Karen and Vicente, room number four. Cindy and Catherine, room number five. Jeannie and Carla, room number six and answer those questions, please. Okay? Answer those questions. Go ahead, join Ginny, Cindy. Join room number five, Cindy. Cindy, room number five, Cindy. Hello, Cindy, can you hear me?
Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Aha, uh -huh. where is Angela? Hello, where is Angela? Eh, está trabajando. Okay, it's working. Okay, now, Cristina, go to room number. Go with uh, room number four. Okay. Go to room number four, please. Who need to print page for presentation or maps and other page where where color is part of the information. Mm -hmm. In the ah, print. Y de ahí dice que las más caras. Why are color printer more expensive? ¿Por qué es más cara la impresión a color? Uh -huh. No, los printers. Ok. Lo, las impresoras. Las ah, impresoras. a color. Las impresoras a sí. color. Uh -huh. Why color printers are more expensive to operate signs they use? Doing card cartridges. 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 Uh -huh. cartridges. That's why they are more entonces, expensive. Because entonces, they use two in cartridges. Two, two in cartridges. Uh -huh. Cartridge. They use two. No one cartridge. They use two in cartridges. Do you? Okay, very good. Excellent. Let me go to another to another group. 
Do okay. you? Uh, sería. Do you? Color do printers. You? Color uh -huh. printers. Uh -huh. Are more expensive. Oh, Hello, do you have any questions? El sí, por yes. no le hallamos. <laughs> Why? Dice, what is something important for someone who prints a lot? Uh -huh. What is something that is important for someone that is... Uh -huh. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. So, si usted imprime bastante, ¿qué es lo que le importa? La velocidad de la impresión. Ok, es que... so, that's what he said right here. Si usted hace mucha impresión, the speed of the printer becomes important. La velocidad del impresor se convierte importante. ¿Por qué? Porque usted hace mucha impresión. Okay. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? The speed, the speed of the printer becomes important. So it says, uh, ah, what is something important for someone who prints a lot? The speed, only the speed, the speed of the printer. The speed of the printer, that is the answer. Okay. Okay, more questions? Uh, number Ajá. Uh -huh. Only that. Solo esa. I this. So number three. What? Number three. Number three. Why are color printers more expensive? Because they use two ink cartridges. Ajá. Uh -huh. You see, color printers uh, are okay. more expensive. Because they use uh, color printers are more expensive to operate since they have, since they use two ink cartridges. So they are more expensive because they use two ink cartridges. Okay. 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 Very good. Very good. Okay. Let me go to the next. Okay. Hello, guys. Do you have any questions? Hi, teacher. Hello, um, do you have any questions? Yes. What is something important for some who printer? And I think and uh, resolution fit and memory. No, no, not the resolution and not the memory. If you print a lot, I mean, if you do a lot of printing, what is important is the speed of the printing. Ah, okay. Correct? If you do okay. a lot of printer, a lot of printing, what is important is the speed of the printing. That's what it says right there. If you do much printing, the speed of the printing becomes important. Correct? Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, very good. I'm gonna go to another room to see what happens, okay? Okay. Important. Of the information. Okay, do you have any questions, guys? Do you have any questions about the answer of the questions? No, uh, teacher. No, you finish. Okay, very good. I will call everybody in. Okay, very good. Okay. Okay.
Okay, we'll be waiting for Francisca and Jacqueline, okay? So they have 15 more seconds. Okay, hello. Okay, hello. so everybody's here. Hello, teacher. Okay, very good. Now, okay, let's answer the questions, okay? Number one, everybody, read question number one, please. Right there. Everybody, read why, question number one. Why is color why is color and why is color important for some users? It says right here, color is important for users who need to print pages. Uh -huh. uh, for for users who need to print page for present presentation or maths and other page where color is Okay, very good. Very good. Now, now, something important, plural. One page, two pages. Pages, the plural, right? Pages. Okay, very good. Now, question number two. Everybody, read, read question number two. What does, what does DPI, DPI stand for? DPI for? Does, okay, DPI is for is stand for? Represent. What does DPI stand for? Dots per inch. Dots yeah. per inch. Dots per inch. That is correct. DPI. Dots per inch. Punto por pulgada. Okay, very good. Read question number three, please. Why are, why color, are color, color printer more, more expensive? expensive? Uh -huh. Why are color printers more expensive? For color Exactly. Color printers are more expensive to operate and they use Two ink cartridges. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, what about everybody? Read question number four, please. What is something, is something important for someone who prints a lot? What is something important for someone who prints a lot? For someone who does a lot of printing? What is if you do much printing, uh -huh. the speed of the printer becomes important. Exactly. If you do much printed, printing, the speed of the printer becomes important, right? So it's very important if you print a lot. Okay, the speed is important. Okay, everybody read question number five, please. What is the amount of memory that most printers come with? Uh -huh. What is the amount of memory that most printers come with? Most printers come what with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte. megabyte. So most printers come with one megabyte of memory. Okay? Very good. Very good. Okay. Before we continue, let's check the list, please. Okay? Ángela, Patricia. Este me llamó. Ramírez. Me llamó y tiene llanta pacha, por eso no ha venido. Okay, but she's going to appear. She's going to come. Okay, very good. Cristina Margarita Pimentel Rivas. Presente. Present. Okay, very good. Okay, Jacqueline Vanessa López Rivas. Present. Thank you. Cindy Alexandra Ramos Parada. Present. Thank you. Catherine Alexandra Gómez Martínez. Present. Thank you. Edenilson Alexander Vázquez García. No here. Ricardo José Meléndez. Present. Thank you. Eh, Alfa Unice Baca. 
Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio González. He's not here. Marlon Ernesto Serrano Hércules. Absent. Let me see. Okay. Uh, Francisca Delmira Guillén Castellanos. Present. Thank you. Vladimir Arturo Carrillo Calderón. Absent. Liliana Melissa Olivares. Absent. Ginny Lisset Escobar de Orellana. Present. Thank you. Vicente Alexander Reyes Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Karen Stephanie Flores Barrientos. Present. Ok. Eh, Brenda Beatriz Escobar Sosa. Carla María Ortiz Hernández. Present. Present. Thank you. Eh, Paulo Alexander Barrera Morán. Present. Thank you. And Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. Seven people absent today. Okay. Very good. Okay. So let's move on to the next page. Okay. Page 45. Okay. Forget about the printers. Now, fill out a complaint form. Okay. When you are not happy with something, you fill out a complaint form. Do you ever complain about the broken items at your workplace? Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. for example? No. ¿Usted alguna vez se queja acerca de el equipo dañado o en malas condiciones at your workplace? Yes. Yes. Okay, no. do you yeah. ever do you yeah. ever feel complaint forms? ¿Alguna vez llena eh, solicitudes de queja? Ah, sí. No. no. Yo sí. ¿Usted sí? Ok. Sí. We will see today. Listen to your teacher read the conversation. Ok. Then practice it with a partner. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal, my computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> Questions? What is the meaning of complaint? Complaint es queja. File a complaint es eh, hacer una solicitud de queja. Okay, that is Thank file you. a complaint. More questions? How is the meaning ding to term on today? Ah, and it didn't turn on, no encendió. You turn on a computer, you turn on the lights, you turn on the air conditioner. Turn on, encender. You turn on the car. You start the car. That clear? Turn on. Yes. Questions? Will a complain? complain? Uh, uh, what's the meaning? I'm sorry to hear that. Hear, hear. I'm sorry to hear that. Hear that. Cuánto siento oír, oír eso. So here means oír. I'm sorry. Siento oír eso. Okay. No questions. Eunice? No, no teacher. No. Okay. Everybody, repeat after me. Thank you for calling the IT department. Thank, Thank you for, you for calling, calling the IT department. department. The IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. 
Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to find a plan about my work terminal. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry to, to hear that. that. Please describe the problem. He was very slow yesterday, and it didn't turn on today. It was, it was very, very slow, slow yesterday, and it didn't, didn't turn on today. today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Let me send, Let me send someone, someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer, send a new computer, in, a new computer in, in no time. time. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. You are welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, very good. Now, let's go faster. A little faster. Are you ready? Thank you for calling the IT department. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, 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 that yeah, 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 describe problem. Problem. the problem. It was very slow yesterday, and it didn't turn out today. It was, it was very, very slow, slow yesterday, yesterday, and it didn't turn out today. Turn today. Turn today. Turn today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, You're welcome. and with a complaint form con una solicitud de queja. Okay. Angela, how are you today? <laughs> Finally. Oh. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Very good. Okay, let's repeat once again. Thank you for calling the IT department. Thank you for, Thank you calling, for calling the, the IT department. department. The department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, very good. Now, uh, we are going to work in pairs, okay? Uh, role play in the conversation. So let me see. We have one, two, three. Where is Cindy? Cindy disappeared momentaneously. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so we are going to make. No, duele, duele, no. Okay, so we are going to make seven groups. Okay, let's see, seven. Okay, Francisca, uh, no, Angela and Christina, you work together, okay? Don't go into the into the group, okay? okay so Ricardo, okay. And Jos, Ricardo and Vicente together in room number one. Jacqueline and Carla in room number two. Francisca and Ginny in room number three. Edenilson and Hector in room number four. Catherine and Paolo in room number five. 
Eunice and Karen in room number six. And Angela, Eunice, you go in room number six. Okay, room number six. Okay, and you two practice, Angela and Christina, please. Okay, practice, please. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Okay, Thank okay. you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I am to hear that. Please describe the problem. I, it was very slow yesterday, and it didn't tour on today. Let me send some with a complete form. We can compute it in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Cindy. Remember, change roles and practice it again. Okay. Both roles. One more time. Three more times. Okay. Go. Thank you. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello. My name is Mario Ochoa and I need to find a complaint about my word terminal. I am sorry to find that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and I didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. Okay, you now, wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. in no time, go ahead, finish, finish. Okay, now uh, you're gonna be, okay, Cindy is with you. So I want you to practice, okay? Angela, you're gonna be num uh, the first person and you're gonna be Miss Ochoa. Cindy, is that clear? Cindy, can you hear us? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead, practice again, please. Practice again. Okay. You too. Okay. Okay. Thank you, you for calling the IT. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa. I need a complaint about my work terminal. I am sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. I was very slow yesterday. And it did it to on the today. Let me send some with a complaint for. We can and send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complete complaint about my work terminal. And to hear that, please describe the problem. Describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and I didn't turn on today. Let me see someone with a complaint form. We can say a new computer in no time. Thank you. Okay, you Cindy, can you hear us, Cindy? Cindy? Hello. Okay, you're gonna be Miss Ochoa and you are the other person, Christina. Go ahead, you start, Christina. Thank you, you for calling the IT department. Go, Cindy. Hello. Yeah, Hello, go. my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to feel I complain about my work terminal. File, I, file a complaint. File, file a complaint. I am sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday, and I, I didn't. Oh, and it didn't. And it, and it didn't turn on today. Let me send some with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in a time. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, you start Cindy and Angela, you're gonna be Maria Ochoa. Okay, go, go Cindy. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa. And I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. I am sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday, and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. 
we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, very good. So let's stop this. Okay. Okay. If you need to go to the bathroom, you have one minute, 50 seconds. Okay, so there are people <laughs> coming back. Okay, very good. This may be a part of a complaint. Why do you see it? It's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little Okay, everyone, very good, very good. Okay, now let's answer these questions quickly. Now that you have practiced, you know the answers. Okay, what express? Okay, everybody, ask question number one. What, is what expression does what expression Mike does use Mike to use show a solution, to show in, a solution a, in progress? Uh -huh. What expression does Mike use to show a solution in progress? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Send someone. Uh -huh. Let me send, for... uh -huh. Let me send, send someone, someone with a complaint. A complaint. Right? That is the expression that he used. Okay, what seems to be the problem with the computer? It's uh, slow. Very it slow, very slow and it didn't turn on. And it didn't turn on today. It was very okay. slow yesterday, it didn't turn on today. Okay, very good. Now, you, I'm going to place you in trios. Okay, and you are going to write down two more reasons. For example, a printer, it doesn't turn on. What are other two problems that printer, you probably have with the printer, okay? So you are going to add that information here, okay? And then you're gonna come with another equipment, photocopy machine, computer, uh, air conditioner, whatever you want, internet, okay? And you are going to describe three reasons why it doesn't work. Is that clear? In trios. So I'm going to break you into trios. Do you, do you have any question before I break you into, into trios? I don't understand very, very good. Uh -huh. Okay, let me explain again. Okay, now in this case, it's a printer. Right? Yes. yes. The first problem is it doesn't turn on. So you are going to write down two more reasons to file a complaint. Okay? Dos razones para mandar una solicitud de queja. Okay? The printer okay. is not printing correctly, or it leaves lines, or it has a funny noise. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. Okay, now you're gonna decide with your trio, with your trio. And then you're gonna come with another piece of equipment. Okay, okay. here is the printer. In this one, you are going to decide. A computer, the internet, uh, whatever. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, very good. Here we go. So in groups. We're gonna make five groups, okay? Uh, what happened here? Okay, yes, give me a minute. This is taking a little longer. Then I thought, don't go into the rooms. Don't go into the rooms. <laughs> uh 
I need 30 seconds, that's all, okay? Okay, now let me create five groups. Okay, now go to the group. Cindy, Edenilson, and Ricardo, group number one. Eunice, Jacqueline, and Jeannie, group number two. Francisca, Hector, and Karen, group number three. Carla, Catherine, and Vicente, group number four. And Angela, Cristina, go to room number five. With Paulo, go to room number five. Okay, Ginny, you go to room number number two, Ginny. Karen, where are you, Karen? Karen, you go to room number, Karen, room number three. Okay, eso me sacó. Okay, no problem, go to room number Repeat, please. It have a viruses or virus. Oh, ah, yeah. In a virus. Okay. Um. Hello, did you finish? Yes, no. Okay, but we need only one complaint, one complaint. Take a look. Okay, with that complaint, with that complaint, we're gonna come and fill in the following complaint form. Complaint form, okay, here you're gonna write your name. Name of complainant, Roberto Dequa. Edenilson Garcia, Francisca Edelmira Guillén, 
okay? And the date, okay? Home phone number, work phone number, fax number. A street address and city. Email address. And describe the problem, okay? Like the problem here is, it was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today, okay? So that is the problem that you are going to write right here. Describe the problem and you write the problem. That clear? Yes. Okay, so do fill out your form, please. Do it right now. I'll give you three minutes. Okay, fill out your form, please. Fill out your form. Karen, fill out your form, Karen. Cristina, are you filling out your form on page 45? Gotta fill out this form. Yes, I estoy, teacher. Okay. You too, Karen. You gotta fill out this form on page 46. Tiene que llenar esa solicitud de queja. Okay? Okay. Because we are going to exchange these complaint forms. Um, complaint information? Uh huh, is the problem. Okay, you remember okay. the year you established what the problem was. Okay, here you mention what the problem is. It doesn't turn on. What the problem is? Okay, like in the conversation, what was the problem? It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. My... Sería my work terminal, it was very slow. Uh -huh. My work terminal was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Or it's very slow, it's only very slow. Okay? Whatever you, lo que sea que puso usted aquí de problema, es el que va a utilizar aquí. Okay? Okay. ¿A dónde? Aquí. Right here. For example, ah, if you say, ah, the printer, la... my printer doesn't turn on. My printer doesn't turn on. Okay. My printer doesn't turn on. So whatever was the problem, that's what you're going to write right here. You finish very easy, very easy. Uh, teacher, um, how do you say, también le sucede esto? Also, okay. also, and whatever, whatever is the problem. You finish? Yes. 
Vaya. Let's check the list. Ángela Patricia Rivas. Present, teacher. Ok. Cristina Margarita Pimentel Rivas. Present. Ok. Jacqueline Present. Vanessa López Rivas. Present. Ahí van todas las Rivas. Ok. <ríe> ok. Cindy Alexandra Ramos. Parada. Rivas. Ok. Eh, Catherine Alexandra Gómez Martínez. Present. Thank you. Eh, Edenilson Alexander Vázquez García. Present. Thank you. Ricardo José Meléndez Batres. Present. Thank you. Alfa Unice Vaca. Present. Thank you. Eh, Carlos Antonio González Rodríguez. Absent. Eh, Marlon Ernesto Serrano Hércules. Absent. Eh, Francisca Delmira Guillén Castellanos. Present. Thank you. Vladimir Arturo Carrillo Calderón. Liliana Melisa Olivares Ramírez. Ginny Licera Escobar de Orellana. Present. Eh, Vicente Alexander Reyes Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Karen Stephanie Flores Barrientos. Present. Eh, Brenda Beatriz Escobar Sosa. Absent. Carla María Ortiz. Present. 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 Paulo Alexander Barrera Morán. Present. Thank you. Oh, Héctor man. Eduardo López Varela. Present. Thank you very much. Okay. Cindy. Ramos, present. Yeah, okay, Cindy, present. <laughs> okay, very good. Now, okay, listen, what we are going to do, we are, let me see. Uh -huh, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so I'm going to make seven groups, okay? Bye. Okay, now with that problem that you put in the in the complaint, in the complaint form, now you are going to make a conversation. Okay, like the one in the introduction, like this one. You are going to use that problem. You are going to use this information in this conversation. Okay, is that clear? Yes. Okay, yes, very, good, very good. Signature of person making complaint. Uh -huh. And what's yeah. meaning? A person making complaint. Signature. La firma. Ah, the signature. La ah, okay. Ah, yeah. Here. Yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Here. Signature. Signature of person making complaint. Este es la firma de la persona que está haciendo la queja. So that is you. Okay, gracias. So you sign that, okay? Very good. Okay, now go and have a conversation, please. I'm going to make seven groups, okay? And Cristina, don't go in. And Angela, you are going to practice only you two. Okay, go ahead. Angela, don't go. Don't go in room number three. You stay out. Okay? Vicente, you go in. I'm going to be with you in a minute. Carla, room number six. Cindy, room number two. Eunice, room number one. Practice the conversation with Paulo, Eunice. Cindy, practice the conversation with Ginny. Okay. Angela, go ahead, practice with Cristina. The conversation with the problem that you have, con el problema que tienen en la, en la, en la, en el, en la solicitud de queja que usted hizo. Ese va a ser el problema. Okay, so make that role play the conversation, please. 
Presente, okay. you are going to role play with me. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, unfortunately, I'm going to I'm gonna to have to be the IT department, okay? Okay. So, thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Vicente, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem, please. The screen, it doesn't turn on, and CPU make a funny noises. I think it have a virus. Okay, let me send someone with a complaint form, and we can send a new computer in no time. Okay, thank you. You are welcome. Okay, let's practice the other part, Vicente. Okay, thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Roberto Dequa, and I need to file a complaint about uh, our air conditioner. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. Okay, it is throwing water, okay? And it doesn't cool all the room, and it's making a funny noise. Okay, let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new air conditioner in no time. Hey, that will be very good. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. And send one air conditioner que... to my house too. <laughs> ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo primero que dijo, teacher? ¿Verdad que es que está botando agua? Sí, it's throwing, grow, it's throwing water. It's throwing, throwing water. Throwing water. Está tirando agua. Okay. Okay. Throwing water and it, it doesn't cool the room evenly. No and está helando. Uh -huh. Ajá, es que no está helando eh, parejo, ¿verdad? And it's making a funny noise. Okay. Okay, very good. Excellent. Great. Eh, Vicente. Did you check the email that I sent like a, a quarter to or 7.30? It's a new email with two with two uh, files. Yes. 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 Okay, because we are going to need it. Okay. We are going to need it today. Okay, okay. very good. Let me break the groups. Okay, teacher. Very easy, right? Very simple. Okay, remember today. How do you how? Uh huh. Tell me, ask me. Ask how me. do you say? Yo necesitaba más tiempo. I needed more time. I needed. I needed needed en pasado need mm -hmm. en, en presente en pasado I needed. I needed more time. I needed more time too. <laughs> really? Okay, yes. so here we go. Thanks for calling IT <laughs> department. Vamos a ver, what is your problem, Jacqueline? Um, my my work terminal is very slow. My printer doesn't turn on, paper jams and paper no fitting. Uh -huh, but remember, I am, I am Jacqueline from uh, the, uh, no, no, pero yo, yo a Edilson, yo a Edilson le dije todo eso. Ahí está el testigo con el micrófono apagado. No, no, no. Again, okay. Uh, thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, I am Jacqueline Lopez. Uh -huh. okay. How can we help you? My work terminal is very slow. My printer doesn't turn on, paper counts, and paper no feeding. Ah, uh, okay, so no problem. I can send, you know, we can change, and we can give you a, a, a very old computer, okay? But it's working. <laughs> Not a no, new one. A very old computer, but it's working, okay? <laughs> okay, Nimodo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, Paulo. 
this is thank you for calling the IT department. How can I help you? Hello, my name is Paulo Barrera. Um, my computer is very slow. Can you tell and me about, what exactly is the problem, please? It's very slow, and I think have a uh, have a virus. It has a virus. Okay, look, uh, I sent someone with a file uh, with a complaint form, so you can fill it out. And I can give you a new computer because we are having <laughs> uh, the company has just recently bought computers. So we can give you a new one today. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now forget about complaints. Now requests. You remember requests? Yesterday we made requests. Ah, by the way, by the way. I sent all of you files, two files in the email. Okay? Yes. Do you have yes. them? Yes. Okay, very good. Yes. Let me show you mine, okay? Yes. Okay, very good. Let me show you mine, please. No, it's not this one. Ah, okay, I got it. Okay, so number one is this one. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, now here are vocabulary that you probably want to use. For example, can you see? The boy says, could I borrow that book? Could I borrow that book? This is very formal and polite. Okay. Now, we also said, and let me go back to the book. We also said that there is an informal and less polite and more informal way using can. And we use it the same way. Okay. So first, we are going to make Formal request, formal request using could. And later we are going to do the same exercise, but making informal requests using can. Is that clear? <laughs> Vaya. Primero, con todo, con eso que tenemos ahí, vamos a hacer primero re, eh, requisiciones formales usando could. Y luego vamos a hacer requisiciones informales usando can. For example, in number one, could I borrow that book? That is very formal, informal. Can I borrow that book? Is that clear? Mm -hmm. But first, yeah. with all the pictures, we are going to use informal, a uh, formal, using could. Now, Probably you need some of this vocabulary, okay? For example, what will be number two? Informal. Cool. No, yeah, no. All are going to Will be formal. Could you take me to the airport? Aha. Uh -huh. Cool. Could you take me to the airport? Could you take me to the airport? Is that clear? Could you take me to the airport? Very good. Now, number three. Number three is this one. What do you think is number three? I don't understand number three. Number me, three. Please. Look, what oh. about this one? Follow me, please. Sigan me, follow por favor. Me, please. Oh. So what is number three? Follow me, please. Follow, uh -huh. follow, follow, you follow, follow me, me please. Follow me, please. Follow me, please. Follow, me, follow please. me, please. So everybody has this page. Okay. Now look, you got. You are going to do it with me first. Okay. Number four. What is number four? Mm. Could you help? Could you help? Help, help no. win with Some your help with. With my homework. Your homework? Uh, could you help me with my homework? Right? Could you help, help me with, with my homework? 
help me sería, porque ahí dice help with. Sí, your... could you help me? Could you help me? Me puede ayudar a mí. Could you, could help, you help me, me with my homework? With my homework. Okay. Could you help me with my homework? Okay, very good. Okay. Number five. What will be number five? Could you call you some what more? Ajá, uh -huh, pero some more es you... algo más. Falta un verbo. Uh, give me. Ajá, uh -huh. could you give me some more? Okay, very good. Could some you more. give me some more? Could okay. you anything else? Could oh. you give me some more? Okay, very good. The next one, number six. You see number six? Oh. Turn up your phone. <laughs> could you could stop you... talking? On the phone. Uh -huh. Could, you, could you turn off your phone? Could you turn off your phone or could you stop talking on the phone? Both are okay. Can Las you dos stop? Están, Las dos están bien, excelente. Okay, no hay una forma singular o específica. You can say whatever, okay? Okay, now, eh, y no necesariamente tiene que usar esto, okay? So, es una guía. Okay, number seven. This is number seven. Ella está pidiendo la información a él. Uh, call, call you, please. Um. How to get to XYZ agency? Agency, could you please tell me? Okay, could you please tell me? Me podría decir, could you please tell me how to get, how to get to the XYZ agency? Or, hey, could you please give me information? Could be. Right? Could you please give me information? Could you please tell me what floor is the what floor is the XYZ agency? Que piso? That clear? Okay, number eight. Could you follow me? Could you please help me use? Uh huh. Could you please help me help us, please? Like this one, could you please, could you please help us? Sin el, sin el ING. Could you please help us? Could you please help us? Vayan anotándolas, vayan anotándolas, porque las van a practicar. Okay, number nine. Could you please take this? To your room. Uh -huh. Could you please take them to my room? Okay. Very good. What do we have here? Uh -huh. Take this to my room. Okay. Very good. Very good, Jacqueline. Excellent. And number 10. Number 10. Uh huh. What about number ten? Um, could you could you give me some more wine? Uh huh. Could you give me some more wine? Vaya. Anótela porque quiero que practique, practique. Solo que vamos a transformar esta, verdad? Okay. Vaya. Could you take me to the airport? Could you all follow me, please? Could you help me do my homework? Y esta la vamos a cambiar, porque no la estamos haciendo con Would you like anything else? Ok, es yes. Could you... Esta la vamos a cambiar to... Quiero ver. Ajá, ok. Eh, so, number five. Number five. 
Uh, could you give me? Could, could you give me another glass of wine? Okay. Anotela. Could you give me another glass of wine? Okay. Okay. Now, number six. Look, number six. Could you? Could you turn off your phone? Turn off your phone. And, and somebody else says, okay, that is one phone, phone, phone. Okay. Now, the other one they say is, who you on? Ah, this is number six. Sorry. Okay, the other one was, is, who Cool. Uh, could you stop talking on the phone? It's also perfect. Okay. Very good. Now, number eight. Could you help us off the bus? Number eight. Could you help us off the bus? Okay, number nine. Could you take my bags to my room? Okay, very good. And number 10. Could you give me more wine? Could you give me more wine? Okay. So you are going to make, okay, you, I'm going to place you in pairs. And you are going to request all this to your classmate. When you finish, your classmate is going to request Gracias. all of them to you. Okay? And when you finish, now you are going to make them with Ken. Make an informal request. Okay? Can you take me to the airport? Can you all follow me, please? Is that clear? Hello? Yes. Not clear, yes. Eh, this one? Yes. Teacher. Yes, clear. Yes, clear. Vamos a ver, el, 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 no está claro para de Nilsson. Veamos. Okay. Veamos, mm -hmm. de Nilsson. Okay, de Nilsson. Vamos a agarrar y vamos a hacer todos esos requerimientos, ok, usando could, porque lo vamos a hacer formal primero luego, usted se lo va a hacer los 10, se lo va a hacer a su compañero, cuando termine su compañero le va a hacer el requerimiento a usted cuando terminemos los 10 con could ahora los vamos a hacer informales y los vamos a hacer informales usando can can En vez de could, en todas voy a utilizar can. ¿Está claro ahora, Pero, Denilson? Cuando se refiere a hacer los requerimientos, o sea, un ejemplo, yo hago la pregunta y me tiene que contestar. No, no va a haber respuesta. Solo bueno, la puede, la puede contestar. Solo Pero, por ejemplo, entonces. could you take me to the airport? Sure. No problem. Puede ser cualquiera. O, no, I'm sorry. Va. Sí, sí puede haber respuesta. Lo que yo quiero nada más es que hagan los requests. 
¿verdad? Okay. Ahora, si hay respuesta, okay. pues está bien. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Yes. Ah, los primeros yes. son formales, usando could. Y luego vamos a hacer los informales usando can. Por ejemplo, si usted está con Francisca, usted le va a hacer todos los requests. You are going to make all the polite requests to Francisca, los 10. Yes. You finish, Francisca va a hacer all the, the requests to you. Los 10. Ok. Formales. When you finish, Eden Nilsson is going to make the request, but informal request using can. So all you have to change is could to can. Ok. Y luego, Francisca va a hacer todos los requests using can. Is that clear now? Yes. Yes. Ok. Very good. Ok. Very good. So... Let's stop and go ahead and I'm going to make the groups. Okay, now in this case, let me see. But, uh, okay, uh, Angela and Cristina, you work together. Angela and Cristina. Okay, here we go. No. Okay, here we go. Francisca and Karen, room number one. Hector and Eduardo, Hector and Vicente, room number two. Eden Nilsson and Paolo, room number three. Jeannie and Carla, room number four. Eunice and Catherine, room number five. Jacqueline and Ricardo, room number six. And Angela and and Cristina, work together. Eunice, go to room number five. Eunice, please. Room number five. No. No hay primero. Okay. Entendió, Angela y Cristina. Sí, primero vamos a hacer todas las preguntas, después las vamos a cambiar informal. No, pero es que no, no. Son requerimientos, no son preguntas. Sí, son preguntas, pero son requerimientos. Ok, con could, todas con could. Ok, así como las puse ahí en el ejemplo. Vale, entonces, Ángela se las va a hacer todas a, a Cristina y después Cristina se las va a hacer todas a Ángela usando could. Y después las vamos a hacer con Ken. Vamos. Para Cristina, hágase las ángeles, todas, por favor. Could you, tell, could you take me to the airport? Ok. And do so. Ajá, number two. Could you all follow me, please? Could you all follow me, please? Ajá. Could you all follow me, please? Could you help me do my homework? Ok, very good. Could you give me another glass of wine? Wine, wine. Wine. Could you stop taking talking on the phone? Very good. Could you could you tell me how to get to the fifth floor? Okay, could, now okay, let's add Christina the please. Could you tell me please? Ah, para que lo hagamos más cortés. Agreguemos el please. Okay, could you tell me please how to get to the fifth floor? Uh -huh. Could you tell me, could you help, help me of the bus? Could uh, you can you tell me of the bus, please? Uh, could you take me back to my room, please? Could you give me some more wine? Please. Okay, Angela. Your turn, Angela. Okay, could very you good. Take me, could you take me, me to the airport? Please. Could you help follow me, please? Could you help me do? Cindy, go to room number two. Work? Cindy. Will you, will you, 
Cindy, go to room. Can you give me another glass of wine? Ken, ¿qué es lo que se lo comprende yo? ¿Cómo se escribe Ken? Ken, C-A-N. Ken. Ah, ya. Ken, C-A-N, sí, ya. Ah, entonces eh, las que teníamos las vamos a pasar a Ken, que Ken. Sea, es más, es menos inform, es sí, más sí. informal y es como para amigos. Ajá, exacto. Ah, ok. Ajá. ¿Qué significa lo mismo? ¿Podrías? No, puede, porque está en presente. Ah, puede. Ajá, puede. puede. Va, igual que en español, que suena más cortés. ¿Podría decirme la hora o puede decirme la hora? Ajá. Que suena podría. más cortés, podría, ¿verdad? Entonces, igual podría. aquí, el cool es más polite, es más formal, y el Ajá. can es más informal, ¿ok? Va. Y de ahí solo vamos a sustituir el can por el could, eso es todo. Ajá. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, go, Francisca. Can you take me to the airport? Please, please. Can you? Can you? Can you take me to the airport, please? Please. Take me to the airport, please. Ajá, ok, next, next. Francisca. Eh, can you or follow, follow me, please? Ajá, can you all follow me, please? Very good, the next one. Eh, can you help me do my... Hold work, please. Very good. Next. He can you like anything else, please? No, no. Ah, yes. Can you give me? Can you give me another glass of uh -huh. wine? Can you give me another glass of wine, please? Ah, uh, can you give me? Uh -huh. Can you give me another glass can of wine, please? Me? Can you give me anything else, please? No, no anything. Vamos a cambiar eso. Can you give me another glass of wine? Can you give me? Esa dijimos que le íbamos a cambiar. Se la voy a compartir. Ah, okay. Ah, ok. Ok. Esa la cambiamos a esta. Cool. Can you give me another glass of wine? Ah, sí, give, sí, give me. Can you give me another glass of wine? No. Okay, voy a dejar de compartir. Okay. Okay, okay next. Um, can you can you need turn it off your phone, please? No. Can you turn solo? Can you turn off your phone, please? Can you turn off? Turn off is apagar. Can you turn uh, off your phone, can, please? Can you turn off your phone, please? Ajá, y la otra es, can you stop talking on the phone, please? Stop. Pero puede parar de hablar en el teléfono. Can you stop talking on the phone? Can you, can you stop talk, talking on the phone? Talking on the, phone. the phone, please, please. On the phone, please. Ajá, the next one. Y can you lie? Ah, no, es... Can you lie me? No, to... no, can you lie? No las anotó, ah. Francisca. No las anotó. Okay. Ah. No? Sí, sí. sí, can you help, help, help me? Help me. Can you help, help me? Ajá. Can you help me more? No, no. Get off, get off. Can you help me off the bus? Can you help me off? Can the you bus? help me off the bus? Exactly, very good. The Next. Bus. Y luego, call, can you take me back to my room, please? Uh -huh. Can you take my bags to my, my room? My bag to my room, please. Y Can you give, give it? Give, give, it. give, give me or give me? Give, give me. me. Can give you me. give, 
Give me more, more wine. More wine, okay. Karen? Por, por cual empiezo? Por la, por la two, number two. Two, number Can you take two. me to the airport? Can you take me to the airport, please? Uh-huh, very uh, good. Three. Next. Can you all follow me, please? Very Four. good. Next. Can you help me do my homework? Please. Uh, five. Can you give me another glass of wine? Okay. Six. Can you turn off your phone? Please. Can you stop please. talking? Please. Uh, again. Can you turn off your phone, please? Can you stop talking? On the phone, please. Solo que la siete no le puse el número, teacher. No sé cuál es. Ajá, la number seven. Let me share. Number Can seven. You stop, stop talking, talking on no. the phone. Could you tell me, could you tell oh, me okay. how to get to the fifth floor? Sí, espérame. Yo no sé la ver cuál es la ocho. Ocho de voz. Okay. Can you tell me how to get to the fifth floor, please? Fifth floor, uh huh? Can you help help us off the bus? Uh huh. Can you help please? us off the bus? Very good. Uh, nine. Can you take this? My bag. Can you take? Uh, my bag to my room uh -huh. to my room please uh -huh. very good uh, quiero ver cuál me he dicho la 10 can you Thank give me more wine uh -huh. can you give me more wine please you see can you give me okay now remember formal can you do this for me inform I mean informal formal could you do this for me pueden hacer esto por mí Okay, very good. I practice. Could you, could you take me to the airport, please? Could you I hold me, please? Yeah. Can you, can you or could you? Okay, can you or could you? Okay, now, very good, very good. Now, we are going to do the same thing, but with number, with the other, with the other, with the husband and wife. Okay, this is like a conversation. Okay, so number one, what is number one? Exactly, don't be afraid, Dele, number one. Could you please close the door? Could you like close the door? Would you please close the door? Or formal, informal? Can you please? Can you close please? The door? Cool. It's cold. Okay. And look at the answer right here. Could you please close the door? Or informal? Can you please close the door? But la num number two. Number two. Hi, honey. I'm home. No, primero dice el, el, el marido, ¿verdad? Hi, honey, I'm home. Y dice la mujer. Dice la esposa. Sorry. Eh, <laughs> would you please close the door? It's cold. Bye. ¿Qué dice el hombre? Sure. But. But. The door on the table. Ajá. Could you put out. Uh, sure, but the cat and dog are on the table. Could you put the cat and the dog out? Okay, let's see. Okay. So this one will be right here. Number two. So number two is could you put out the dog and the cat, please. Okay, 
Could you put out the dog and the cat, please? Is that clear? For number two? No. Yes. 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 Yo, ¿Están siguiendo? Sí. Yo, okay. Yes. Ajá, vaya. Aquí en la respuesta dice, Would you mind putting them out? Es lo mismo. A them es el perro y el sí. gato. Ok. Uh -huh. Ahora, esta es otra forma de decir las cosas cortésmente, pero nosotros no la estamos usando. Entonces voy a cambiar esto. Ahora, este, cuando uso este, uso la forma ING en el verbo. Como solo estoy utilizando could, entonces voy a utilizar could, como lo puse aquí, ¿verdad? Como lo puse aquí, ¿verdad? Could you put the dog and the cat? Ah, can you put out the dog and the cat, please? ¿Está claro? Bien. Se yes. viene la, the, the wife and says, okay, hey, you turn on the radio too loud. Encendiste el radio, el, la radio muy fuerte. ¿Qué es lo que le pide ella cortésmente? Would you turn turn down the radio? So number two will be number three. Number three will be cool you. Turn, turn down the radio. Is that clear? Yes. Please. Can you please, teacher? Please. Uh huh. Uh, washing screen. ¿Cómo? No se mira la pantalla donde está escribiendo ahorita. Esta, aquí. Aquí, sí. Aquí. Está a la derecha. ¿La sí, ve? sí, sí, sí. La ve aquí a la derecha, en la esquina superior, derecha. La ve aquí. Could you turn down the radio, please? ¿La ve, Cristina? No. No. Va, ve dónde está el perro y el gato. <risa> no. ¿Ve? Okay. El perro y el gato sobre la comida. Arribita está la pantallita. Ahí se minimizan las cámaras, por eso no lo ven. Tienen que, tienen que moverla. Sí, tienen que minimizarla, si no, no se ve. Vaya. Ok. So, number four. No problem. Vaya, aquí dice, Would you turn it down? O, could you turn it down? It is la radio. Or, can you turn it down? Ok, very good. The next one, number four, no problem. Oh, the food in the oven is burning. ¿Cómo sería? To take out. Would you, would you take out? Would, would you, you take, take the food out? Would you yeah. take it out? Uh -huh. Y vamos aquí a la, a la, a la, okay, so. Would you take, como estoy hablando de la comida, take it out. Would take you it take out. it out, please? Would you take it out, please? Is that clear? Okay, very good. That's number four. So the wife said, oh my God, yes, quickly. And the children's clothes are everywhere on the floor. Entonces, ¿qué le pide él? ¿Qué, ¿Qué haga el esposo? Puro way es recogerla y ponerla en su lugar. Puro way. Could you put it away? Ajá. Could you could you put the clothes away. Okay, very good. Would you please put the clothes away, please? Okay, please. Please, okay? 
Please. Now, the next Please. one. So he says, I'm already onto it. Ya estoy haciéndolo. Hey, I want to watch the news. Could you turn it on? Okay, could, could you turn it on or could I turn it on? Lo puedo encender? Could mm -hmm. I turn it on? Uh -huh. Could I turn it on? Le pregunta pidiéndole permiso como todo buen marido. Muy bien. <laughs> No hay de eso. Así quiero no yo. <laughs> Could I turn it on? I'll do that, dice ella. I'll do that. Yo lo hago. Oh, the phone is ringing. ¿Qué le pide él, ella que haga él? Could you pick up the phone? Could you pick it up? Could you pick the phone pick, up? The phone up. Uh -huh. Could and you see pick who's the calling. phone up? and see who is calling is for you wow look outside it's raining the clothes are hanging on the line mira le dice wow mira afuera está lloviendo y la, la ropa está colgando en la, en la pita en el alambre en lo que sea in english is the line <laughs> Ok. Ajá. Entonces, ¿cómo sería? ¿Qué le pide él a ella? Could you bring, you the bring clothes, clothes in? in? Could you bring the clothes in? Very good. Jacqueline, could you bring the clothes in? Vaya. Y le dice ella, oh, I'm sorry. I'm on the phone. It's important. Entonces dice él, ok, I'll do it myself. Ok, yo lo hago yo solo. Yo mismo. And, and get, could, oh. could, and could get, could you get off the phone quickly? Could you get off, get off quiere decir, hey, que puedes ya apagar la llamada. And could you get off the phone quickly? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Okay. Ya no lo voy a detener. Solo quiero decirles, Ángela. Carlos no está, Cristina, Edenilson, Karen, no, Karen no, Catherine y Marlon, Marlon no está, eh, que por favor trabajen este fin de semana, trabajen en las tareas, ok, el resto, pues puede trabajar y ya puede hacer todas las tareas hasta la 20. ¿Podemos y, hacer el examen final? No, el lunes, el lunes, ya puede hacer el examen final también, ya vimos todo. Ya terminamos el libro, ya lo puede hacer para ir avanzando, ¿ok? De todas maneras, en la clase del lunes, si usted tiene alguna consulta, me dice, ¿ok? ¿Hay okay. alguna sí. consulta? Teacher, ¿y Karen es el último día? ¿Perdón? Lunes es el último día, ¿verdad? Eh, el lunes eh, le va a indicar Elena, ¿ok? A mí me cayó un mensaje, teacher, que tenía hasta esta fecha 16, creo. No. Para enviar. No, pero para enviar. Eh, pero, vaya. Miren. Me lo voy a decir y por favor, que esto no cause ningún. Ok. Lo que sucedió fue que Zoom no grabó la segunda clase. Y esa clase, nosotros supuestamente terminábamos el lunes. ¿Se acuerda que comenzamos martes? Y vamos a terminar día lunes. Pero Zoom no grabó la clase del, del, del martes. O sea, la, la del miércoles, la segunda clase. No la grabó. Entonces, Insafor está pidiendo que nosotros repongamos esa clase. Entonces, ah, pero, vamos a reponer. Pero mejor, teacher, porque repasamos. Sí, ok, estamos de acuerdo. Va, fíjense bien. Y además de eso, esa clase no la grabó todita. Y de ahí... No grabó otra clase, solo grabó 45 minutos. Así que vamos a hacer hora y media el miércoles. Y el miércoles, en media hora, o sea, vamos a repasar una no, hora. Media. Hola. Pero vamos a empezar más temprano, ¿no? No es que vamos a terminar a las 11. No, 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 no. Siempre vamos a comenzar a las 8. El día Tendríamos miércoles. antes. El, ah, el martes, una clase normal, la del martes, de 8 a 10. La del miércoles. Es de 8 a nueve y media. Vamos a salir antes. 
¿verdad? Sí, vamos a salir antes y el repaso solo va a ser una hora, porque la otra media hora vamos a hacer la encuesta que pide Insafor. Para que usted se gradúe, Insafor le pide tres cosas. Que uno, que su asistencia sea 80% o más. Segundo, que haya trabajado sobre la plataforma. Y tercero, que haya llenado la encuesta de satisfacción. Como hay que llenar unos datos, ¿ok? A usted le va a llegar el, la encuesta. ¿A dónde hacer la encuesta? No la haga. La vamos a hacer el día miércoles. Desde las, eh, desde las nueve a las nueve y media. Vamos a hacer la encuesta. Y si terminamos antes, si se portan bien y son cuidadosos, podemos terminarla antes. A esa hora terminamos. ¿Me explico? Ah, okay. El miércoles. Okay. El miércoles. El miércoles. O sea, vamos a terminar día miércoles. ¿Ok? Entonces okay. a esa notificación no le hacemos caso, Tiche, porque a mí me decía que era para pasar el módulo, ah, no, el básico módulo 3. Sí, usted ya básicamente ya está lista, ¿verdad? Si, si lleva las tareas bien, lleva la plataforma bien, eh, lleva el 80%, lo cual Francisca está bien, solo necesita hacer la encuesta de satisfacción. Y esa ah. tiene que ir perfecta, si no, no le van a dar el certificado. ¿Okay? Ah, ok. Vale. Así que y, eh, para la clase del martes y la hora del miércoles, yo he preparado lo que les ha costado más y es el repaso de el simple present con el present continuous. Sí. Okay. Okay. Y he preparado sí. todo para que usted se vaya y diga, wow, hoy sí, voy con todo. Ok. Ok. okay ¿De acuerdo? Ok, see you Monday. Ok, have a Good nice Monday. weekend. Ok. Monday. Monday. Thank you, teacher. Work on the Thank platform. You. Trabajen en la plataforma yes. para que no nos quede nada pendiente. Acuérdese que si okay. se equivoca en la plataforma lo puede volver a hacer. ¿De acuerdo? Sí, sí podíamos hacer el examen final, ¿verdad? Ya pueden sí. hacer el examen final y si tiene dudas, me pregunte el lunes, corrige y saca 100 otra vez. Ok. okay. okay. Thank okay. you, teacher. Good night. Bye. 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 Have a nice weekend. Good night. Okay. Good night, everyone. Good night.